Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well today. I want to talk today about the pose morph tag in Cinema 4D and a way that I've been using it lately in some of my freelance work. I do want to give a quick shout out to uh, iDesign, to EJ over there. Uh, he has a couple great tutorials on the pose morph tag. So definitely check those out. Um, the way that I'm going to use it is uh, on this video board. And this video board is from our video board pack if you're interested in checking it out. So what I did is I just took a bool object and I split this board into three different pieces. And I want to animate all these different pieces on in a way that's sort of robotic. But I also want to have room for experimenting and I don't want to have too many keyframes to mess with. So the way that we're going to do that is right clicking and going to our character tags and then pose morph. And the reason it's in character tags is because most people do use it for character animation. But it's a really useful tag uh, to use in a lot of different situations as well. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. All right, so our pose morph tag has a bunch of options in the mixing twirl down. Uh, if we click on one of these guys, uh, it's going to kick us over to the tag tab. But it did that before we could really check all the ones that we wanted, so we're going to go back to basic. Um, so these are the different things that it's going to capture. And let's say that we want position, scale, and rotation. Now we can jump over to the tag. And basically what you do is you set up various poses and then it'll give you a slider that you can animate between the poses with just a couple of keyframes. So let's add a pose and let's go into our piece right here and let's add a little bit of a different pose and then we'll go back. All right, so you're thinking everything's looking real good. We're gonna be able to animate between these two. Well, you're gonna have a little bit of a problem when you click on your animate and you try to play around with those sliders, nothing's gonna happen. So the reason that these aren't working is that we set it up wrong. So I kinda wanted to show you that just because you'll probably set it up wrong in the beginning and not know what's going on. All right, so that's the gotcha. All right, we'll set this up real quick. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna right click and we're gonna go to character tags and pose morph. And this time when we hit position, it'll kick us off to the tag, we'll go back. We're gonna do position, scale, rotation, and then remember to check hierarchy, which means that it's going to um, look in the hierarchy of this screen and it's gonna calculate all the positions and rotations and scales of everything inside of it as well. So that's what was going on before. We moved these, but it was only calculating the, uh, the top null. All right, so now that we have hierarchy, everything is going to work fine. We can go to the tag now. We can go ahead and add a pose, and now we are in business. So let's say that we want to do one pose with these guys, these flaps kind of coming in from behind. We'll do something like that. All right, so that's one pose that we want. We'll go back to our tag, and we're going to add another pose. So the beauty of this is that you can add a whole bunch of poses, and uh, then you can kind of just play around with the sliders and you get some really cool results. So let's say we want to do something like a rotation of these panels maybe. So we'll do a rotation on these guys, something like that. And let's go ahead and click on the animate. So once you've set up all of your poses, all you have to do is click on your animate uh, little radio button there. And now we have our sliders for the pose. Now they're all set to 100%, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make them all 0% so they're not affecting it. And then if you do one slider at a time, you can kinda of see what they're doing. So now we just have to animate these different poses and uh, we can really easily set up some cool animation. If we wanna do um, something like this, we'll make a couple keyframes. We'll do a slider move so that they come around front and we'll move that over so it pauses there for a second and then we'll have them uh, flip we'll have them flip down like that but we don't want it flat maybe have it have this slider back a little bit so they're kind of curved backwards and then we'll hold that keyframe there for a little bit and then we'll go ahead and have it close now here's the really cool thing about having it close we have zero percent through a hundred percent right but if you look at these little triangles, we actually have overshoot. So then we can go into the negative direction, we can overshoot, and that way we can get some really cool animations as well. So let's make a keyframe for that guy. And now if we look at it, you can see that we have an animation where they flip on and then they lock into place. So there you go, it's uh, only six keyframes 
just a couple of sliders and there's only two poses and you can add some more if you want it to be a little bit more intricate or have some different options. But I mean, look at this timeline. It's only six keyframes for that whole animation. Set it up really quick and uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. So that's the pose morph tag in its simplest form. It's just uh, taking a couple different poses and animating in between the two and you get some really awesome results. So I hope that helps you guys out. Definitely play around with it. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for checking out the Pixlab. We'll talk to you next time.